lovely piece of grain filled rosewood and we're going to take it over to the sanding station now and uh, see how we've done see if we have to do another coat or uh, if we're going to be okay with this don't know if this is the way that I want to go um, but we'll see you know the cool thing is there's another side that we can try something else out on all right let's let's do some sanding all right sanded with 320 and 400 and we're close we're way far away from this which is where we were we're now at this but there's still I still see some grain. I still see some stuff that I'm pretty sure would show up. So, one of my, uh, we'll do one more, and then I think we'll go with that uh, as a test, and we'll see. What we might do is we'll do we might do a true oil grain filling finish on this side. And then we may z epoxy grain fill on this side um, with just a true oil finish over the top of it. Um, maybe. Let's see. One thing at a time. All right. I have let this dry for about a half an hour. I have a fresh cup of coffee. I had a killer... Thai coconut chicken soup, Tom Kha Gai. Oh man, wonderful. So anyways, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag this at like a 45 degree angle here. Hopefully this is going to do two things. Hopefully it's going to force um, some of this concoction down into the pores. It'll give me a little less to sand off in the end. Is this going to work? out tomorrow or the next day depending on how the workload goes still not happy with this one here Third time's a charm. Yes, no, maybe so. You'll see. Third bout of grain filling. This time I pulled 45 degrees to the grain, hoping to A, moosh some more of this true oil slash rosewood dust slurry in there um, and uh, lessen the amount of sanding uh, that I would have to do. So let's go over to the sander and uh, see what we see all right that was uh one no that was 220 that was 320 and that was 400 and let's take a look here and i gotta tell you that ain't too bad Not bad at all. Um, 
So here's my thoughts on this at the moment. Um, first of all, um, yeah, it looks all right. Um, here's the thing that I do like about it is I don't have any funky colors in it because the sawdust, the sanding dust that I'm using to fill the pores is this wood. Um, so that's a plus. A minus is that it's difficult to tell when you've sanded off the filler and when you're getting into your wood because the dust is the same color. Um, if you're sawing, uh, if you're uh, if you're sanding off uh, cyanoacrylate or if you're sanding off uh, zepoxy, um, it's easy to tell because that stuff comes off that kind of powdery white. And as soon as you start getting into the wood, well, it comes off wood color. Well, this all comes off wood color. Um, the other downside uh, about this and totally recognizing a huge part of this could be my technique um, is that it took three shots to get this done and this is this small area uh, and if I've got a guitar back and um, and sides to do um, that's a that's a lot of work and that's a lot of time um, so yeah there's that um, so now what uh, I propose to do is I'll probably sand this again with 600 to get it uber de duber smooth um, and then uh, and then I'm going to true oil it uh, so I can see um, actually you know what before I do that you know what I'm going to do to the other side 180 220 320 400 line right down the middle super glue on one side z epoxy on the other that way on the same piece of wood i will have a uh what i hope to be a good uh representation of um grain filling pore filling methods um the results and then both sides of this will get uh will get true oiled um, so that should make a should make an interesting uh, an interesting piece. So uh, I'll get on that and uh, we'll film some more when that's uh, a little further along. Okie doke. Here we go. 180, 220, 320, 400, 600. It's very smooth. Um, and let's see, you might be able to see some of the grain in that as opposed to this. This is the uh, True Oil Rosewood Slurry, as I'm calling it. And this side is going to be super glue. This side is going to be z uh, I'm going to do the super glue side first. Um, Super blue brick. This is plain old regular cyanoacrylate super blue. And I'm spreading it with just a playing card. This is this is not even like any of the really fancy stuff either. There's some really cool um, super glues that you can buy that are some are thick like a gel, some of them are thin like water thin so, you know this is already this is already for the most part done or at least set. I'm going to glob a little bit extra on here. Try to get it in all the pores. How much of that is going to get down into the pores um, with it going that fast? I guess we'll just see, won't we? Mm. Trying to get it all the way over to this tape. 
Um, I got the tape on here for two reasons. One, so that I can tell which side is which side. And then the other reason is um, when this is all done, I want to pull the uh, I want to pull that tape up so I can see and you can see what that original grain looks like that we started with. So then we have a nice comparison. Um, and don't kid yourself, uh, it's for me as well. You guys just get the benefit of my mistakes. Um, all right. Well, believe it or not, there's the uh, super glue side of things. Uh, I'm gonna whip up a batch of Z epoxy, and then we'll uh, we'll get this done, and we'll let that cure, and then we've got other things that we can do. Z epoxy it has a little better working time than super glue. I should probably have. Um, I don't know. That's just what they had at the store, so that's what we're going to run with. It's epoxy. I like that it has a longer working time than the super glue. I have yet to stick myself to something using Z epoxy. You can imagine all the disasters I've had over the years using super glue. I'm just going to work this back and forth, making sure we get in everything, and then I'm going to pull it off at an angle with a squeegee, a little rubber squeegee. Um, I get my squeegees at uh, you know the local home store. Um, but get a good one, don't get a crappy one. Because the cheaper ones are made with like inferior rubber. And uh, it could tear apart on you or disintegrate on you, which would be zero fun. off. By the way, the super glue is still a little bit sticky. a small tiny piece. There we go. That's what we're gonna run with. Alright, we're gonna let this cure for a day and then we will come back and we will sand and then we will see if we have to reapply. And if we do, we'll reapply until we get nice and filled. Mm. Until we get it nice and filled, as we have this other side. All right. Testing continues.
One of these days, I may do something productive. Maybe.